Alright guys, uh, welcome back with another Kerbal Space Program video. Today we're going to be showing off the hypersonic VTOL. Now uh, VTOL is usually meant for vertical takeoff, but uh, due to the lack of equipment in uh, Kerbal Space Program, I could not create it. But there are mods to actually create VTOLs. But I did it just like this, so we've got uh, six engines. We've got the RAM intakes, jet engine, uh, this thing's meant for increased fuel flow to the engine, which is more speed. We've got a whole bunch of wings here that I've disconnected, as, as you can see. Uh, let's just see how I placed them. So I'll show you that. We've got a wing connector. So say I wanted to put one here, <laughs> just like that. And I just keep on placing them right next to each other, you know, any order using the WSD and E keys. So yeah, let's give this a try. Now I have tested it just once and it was working quite fine. I even landed with it. The fuel takes a time to waste, but it, <laughs> it will waste eventually. Uh, it's a bright day. Let's see what Gus Kerman can show us. And there's always lag in this game. It's inevitable. Uh, T. I probably wouldn't have to go full throttle, but let's try this out. So we're going. Now, because th this is on an angle, it should take off. Yep, here we are. It's taken off. It is perfectly straight. Yeah, pretty much. As you guys can see, it lines up with the runway there. We haven't changed it off. It's going fast, not even going full throttle. Uh, let's see how fast we go. Pretty fast. Let's see how high we can go. And it's yeah, it's pretty easy to control actually. I'm probably gonna regret that pretty soon. But speed is good. Um, I've got a couple wings in there just to help out with the adjustment and lift. Lift is always an issue. Sometimes you have too much lift. Sometimes not enough. That's just, that's just an issue. Anyway, I click a G. Taking these wheels again. I always forget. Oh yeah, we're going very fast. So I'm gonna take off that. Let's see how far fast we can go. Make straight right here. Now we're still going up. That's why it's a bit hard to adjust our, our uh, aircraft position. And this is a hypersonic aircraft. And I've actually went 800 meters per second with this. 800. I was surprised. I, like, it's very rare to, to reach that just with uh, jet engines. So right now, uh, we're going to be falling. Might as well turn off the engines, they're useless right now. Since there's almost no air up here. And these engines won't even work properly. As you can see. That's coming. So right now we're just gliding. Okay, better turn off the engine. Looks like we're falling there. Yeah, we're still falling. Oh damn. No. I'm holding the S key right now to make sure I don't fall down. We're probably going to come crashing down. Not good. Alright, catching on again. Okay, this is the same problem as before. Damn. It's just the lift. Lift is an issue. Not enough lift in this thing. Uh, go up. Come on. We need to reach about above, above 90. Alright, that's stabilized. Now our goal here is to get a bit higher in altitude and we should reach 800 meters per second. Given the fact that the fuel does not waste. <laughs> it goes quite fast. And we only have one fuel tank here. Just one. The rest are just fuselages. Because 
you know, if I had more fuel, if I had fuel here, then we would need more power on the lift. If we had it back here, it should be fine back here, actually. Yeah, that would work. But, yeah, we're definitely not going to reach 800 meters per second today. Yep, it was going to go. Well, oh, well. Right, this will be able to test the gliding of this thing. And it does look pretty cool, it's almost like a bomber. Okay, then here's the silent sound of no engines working. <laughs> Alright, let's just try and uh, turn. Okay, let's click in the Q key. It's always best to start off with clicking Q. Right? And the only you have to do is you click the S key every now and then. And yeah, then the Q. Because when you're turning left, uh, it's the best, it's easiest to be like this. And because we are going so fast, it's pretty hard to turn. Come on. Uh, Q, Q. S, S. Come on. What? Alright, uh, have we turned? Yes, we are turning. It's pretty good at gliding. This is a glider, guys. A glider. For bombs, usually. We're, this whole thing will be a bomb once it crashes into the water. I do not have any parachutes. Fortunately, Gus will not be able to survive. Unless we try to make him survive. Test that. Test that out. Alright. Good. Going. Oh, Alright, that's not good. Hope we don't spin crazy. <laughs> Are we falling? Side? Okay, we're going down now. Let's just try and adjust that. Come on. Oh, that's fine. That's good. Alright, so... S. We want to glide. No. Come on. Excellent. Alright, this is good. Very good glider. I recommend this, guys, as a design. You will need support struts in there. And we are actually flying on an angle. Well, yeah, we're going to the left a bit. Or maybe on an angle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is cool. It's the best bomber ever. I really think we can survive. Um, let Gus survive. If we get low enough and slow this thing down, make the uh, the butt hit the the uh, C, it could save him. And I know this capsule is yeah, a bit more stronger than other types of capsules. In a couple episodes time, I'll actually show you how to survive a crash landing with just a capsule, and it's awesome. This was it was out of my own stupidity. Alright, I'm, I'm clicking S. We're getting low, pretty low here. Alright, S. Oh no. Whatever. Eject. Okay, good. Oh, did he survive? Yep, come on. <laughs> he survived. And it's always these things. It's always the empty fuselages that can flow. And the capsule, yeah, most of the time, yeah, I think it always floats. Now, what can we do by swimming? Uh, hold on, shift. And All right, we're not very good swimmers. Yeah. Well, um, that's the end of the episode, guys. I uh, hope you liked it. It was an interesting type of bomber slash veto slash hypersonic. Actually, it wasn't hypersonic if it didn't reach that speed. But uh, yeah, I'd, you know, try this design out for yourselves. And uh, have a nice day.